Hi guys, so this reading is going to be for Sagittarius. How are you doing? This is the next 48 till Friday. I hope you're fantastic. We have the energy of the Sun and Mercury retrograde crossing over from Scorpio into Sagittarius rising energy today. So the rising is the energy of the way that we see um, the person or the situation. It's the energy of high learning, philosophy, life purpose beliefs, um, also expansion, travel, long distance travel, pushing yourself self outside your comfort zone. So we have Mercury and retrograde in the sun. Emotions, so some of you could be reconnecting with people from your past, for sure. Um, having intense emotional conversations with people you could be actually discovering secrets. There could be something that was hidden that you find out um, because Sagittarius is about higher learning, philosophy, in inquiring. And Scorpio is kind of the same. It's wanting to deep get into the deep emotions of a situation. We have the Sun to square to Pluto and Saturn. So we have this desire to connect, feeling very intense emotions, but at the same time, there's a need for order in your second house. So it has to do with your, your reputation. For example, if you feel really emotional and with the retrograde in Mercury, you feel like you're gonna yell at someone, how would that affect your career and your reputation? So Saturn is about regulating you know, regulating, following the rules, doing the orderly thing to do, following the rules and the regulations. That could also be something you're up against. You could be trying to do something and yet there's all these little rules and regulations. The moon is in Aquarius, which is the community and our society. So feelings are connected to what other people are also feeling right now. Um, maybe a, um, a struggle or a frustration with changes or all these new rules and regulations that we're all having to deal with. So this energy is here. Um, there's positive energy passing through Sagittarius from Venus. So love and compassion and forgiveness. So hopefully a lot of people can be have their heart open to other people as they're going through these tense energies especially with the energy of Scorpio. We're in Scorpio season, suns in Scorpio, deep emotions that come up from the surface. And this is an opposition to a need to have self-control Taurus energy. So let's see, people around us could be acting crazy or we could be feeling very, if you're a Scorpio, you could be feeling, not Scorpio, if you're Sagittarius, you could be feeling frustrated with Red tape, rules, regulations. Okay, so the first card to flip here, we have stay optimistic. Your dreams are coming true. Don't quit right before the miracle occurs. Okay, so I'm going to leave it there. That's a nice message. Okay, so let's see what we get for Sagittarius, angels, and spirit guides. What are the messages coming in for Sagittarius? What do they need to see or acknowledge for the next 48 till Friday? And then I'll most likely do a next 48 Friday for the weekend. Let's see. Chariot. First card to flip, Major Arcana for a victory. Um, it means you have great determination and willpower. You're charging ahead. You're overcoming anything around you. What is coming in for Sagittarius, Angels, and Spirit Guides? What are the messages? It's also about determination. You're determined to make something work. Okay. It 
What's on the bottom? King of Cups, Water Energy, Scorpio. Very strong emotions. The Chariot is Major Arcana for Cancer as well, so you could be having some strong emotions and you're just like, I'm going to make this work. Oh, the Death card, Scorpio. Okay. <clears throat> be careful driving. Um, you know, it could be rushing, you know, forcing ahead, trying to make something happen. So just be careful when you're driving. Um, yeah. There's change. You're going ahead no matter what. There's change here. Justice, fairness, balance, equality, a wrong being made right. There is a major ending. There's some kind of finality where it's not going to be the same. It's going to change. You had to stand up what, for what you believe in. You had to use courage. You had to be very courageous to get this far. This is Minor Arcana. Seven of Wands. It's symbolic of the energy of Mars and Leo. So you may have had to embody a very courageous, um, courageous energy where you had to speak up for yourself, stand up against opposition. Six of Swords. So things are going to be getting easier. You could be avoiding someone or there could be somebody... I feel like you're moving on. You're moving on. You're moving out of the conflict. You're saying, I don't want to be in this conflict anymore. Whatever it is. Two of Swords. Mentally conflicted, but needing to make a choice. The energy of Libra, again. Two of Pentacles. Needing to balance. Needing to multitask. Okay, so you have a partner. You have an alliance. You have a heart connection with someone. Two of Cups. There is love there. Magician, we have Gemini energy. Somebody very, they can maneuver their environment to make it work for them. You're wanting to be the magician you're, or you're wanting to a Gemini, but it's the energy of magician, which is somebody who can make anything happen. Hermit card, okay? A wise philosopher. The energy of turning inward there's a lot of wisdom with this person. You're dealing with someone who considers things very carefully. Queen of Cups, Water Sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Somebody could be offering, giving you advice actually here. Could be a Water Sign, any Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio with whom you have a bond. They could be giving you advice and it comes from their own experience with the Hermit. They've done a lot of work. Six of Wands, popularity, recognition. This is a victory. This is overcoming something that was difficult, like a conflict. So this could even be an apology. Somebody could be apologizing to you. Let's see. What is the Two of Swords right here? What is confusing for Sagittarius? What is confusing or what do they need to decide? Page of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, what is the justice energy right here? Okay, marriage, or we have the energy of you're dealing with an institution like a school or a bank or the government and justice is being served here, you're getting to move on where something is easier what is the two of pentacles the hierophant is order rules and regulations institutions it's the energy of marriage traditions what is the two of pentacles okay so you have stability you have the stable happy home the energy of marriage there's also the energy of celebrations fun times having a lot of fun so it's like you're almost like trying to balance your work something is ending something is changing why do we have a page of wands right here why do we have a page of wands why is this here
Why do we have the Page of Wands? Nine of Pentacles, the energy of being very independent, self-sufficient, on your own, not needing anybody, having a life of comfort. Ten of Swords is on the bottom. Some of you could be going through a situation that is really hard, really difficult, mentally draining. So it says here, stay optimistic. Okay, let's see, I'm going to, what is the Hermit energy? Well, we have the Hermit, a wise prophet, we have a Queen of Cups, and we have a Six of Wands. So we have somebody offering you advice about maybe something to do with how to win or how to maintain your reputation. Um, what is the Six of Swords? Because it's almost like if you were getting into a conflict over here with someone or a group of people, it's like somebody telling you, you probably don't want to get into like a fight with a group of people. What is the Six of Swords? Wanting to walk away. You put a lot of feelings into a situation or it, I almost feel like it could make you feel very emotional because it shows here blocking this energy. Like... You're wanting to block, you're wanting to avoid, you just don't want to argue with someone or argue with a group. What is the Two of Cups? Okay, Ace of Swords. There's Truth and Clarity going to come in. What is the Ace of Swords? Something about this Page of Wands energy. Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius. And a Ten of Cups, so something, you get the truth, something is made better, happy family, happy home, you come out winning, what is the Hermit, why are we getting Hermit, why are we getting the Hermit, hanging man, the energy of Pisces, Neptune, imagination having to see a situation in your mind from another person's point of view unless you feel stuck what is the queen of cups 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 here okay so it's like you could feel stuck, confused, overwhelmed, not knowing what to do, wanting to get out of a situation. You could be dealing with any Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. And then he, we have the energy of wanting to break free or somebody could be acting like they don't have a care in the world. They're just free. They're just living life. They're very liberated. Yeah, four of cups and four, eight of swords. Like you could feel stuck in a situation that you don't want to be in. This Queen of Cups is here with this Knight of Coin, which means somebody is very loyal to you and they're giving you advice from the heart. It could be about if you're thinking about divorce here and you're not sure what to do or you're not sure what to do in a situation where you feel like it's very unfair. Yeah. So somebody is going to give you some words of wisdom, I feel, when you feel like at your wit's end. And then, what is the Six of Wands? Why is there a victory right here? You come out ahead. You come out winning. Ace of Wands. Excitement. Nine of Coin. Money, wealth, abundance, a life of financial comfort, independence. Could be a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. What is nine of coin? Why is the nine of coin showing up here? And a nine of cups, a wish comes true. And then we have this four of wands, the stable, happy home, or a marriage, or a commitment, or two people coming together. Um, okay, so we have this energy of Maybe it's like something to do with finances. This could also be some of you are leaving one relationship for another, basically. And you're confused about how to do it 
or whether you should do it. But it, the outcome here looks really good. Nine of Cups, a wish comes true. You're very content. Nine of Pentacles, you have financial comfort and stability. And then here's the stable Four of Wands. The happy home, things are, you know, you're achieving a goal of stability too. I just feel like there's something that happens here. It could have been a fight or an argument with a group of people where you felt attacked. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here. Thank you for watching and take care.